Real Steel here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel and another beauty video. Make sure to give your girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. Today we are doing a makeup, an updated makeup routine to help you fight the humidity. I'm going to show you all of the products I use to get this glowing makeup look. Um, but I am partnering with Fresh Beauty, and so I'm gonna get into my skincare routine first, show you guys the goods, and then we'll get into this makeup look. So if that interests you, just keep on watching. All right guys, so before we get into my updated makeup routine that's great for humidity, we're gonna get into my skincare routine, y'all, because great skin equals great makeup, and this portion of the video is in partnership with Fresh Beauty. So you all know I just got back from Barbados Crop Over where I spent seven days partying, eating horribly, being in the sun, barely sleeping, and all of those things will stress your skin. And so to add a little pep back in my skin step, I will be using the Fresh Tea Elixir Skin Resilience Activating Serum. Now this serum is scientifically proven to increase skin's resilience and resistance to life stressors, which can lead to signs of aging. This tea elixir serum has ingredients to refine the look of pores and improve radiance, to deeply hydrate and minimize the look of fine lines and wrinkles, and also to strengthen the skin's moisture barrier and prevent dehydrated skin. And that is exactly what my skin needs right now. So let's go ahead and get into my skincare routine. So we're gonna start with the Fresh Store Cleanser, which is great for keeping the skin's pH while removing impurities. Next, we're gonna go in with a kombucha essence for antioxidant protection and to boost luminosity. Now, let's get into the tea elixir serum to boost resilience for smooth, glowing, and bouncy skin. To use, apply six drops onto the face and neck, press onto the skin to activate, and you can use this daily, morning, and night. You can also use it one to two times a week as tolerated. And finally, we're gonna follow that up with the Youth Preserve Moisturizer. And there you have it, my Fresh Beauty skincare routine. I mean, look at, look at my skin, y'all. Ah, oh, this tea elixir serum is everything. Special thanks to Fresh Beauty for sponsoring this portion of the video. I have linked all of these products down below in the description box for you all. So definitely check them out to get your skin bouncy. Ah, oh, the resilience, oh, everything. Okay, let's go ahead and get into my updated makeup routine now that my skin is refreshed and oh, it's looking so good. All right, guys, I know you all love my like makeup drawer. I love it too. I just reorganized it. Nothing makes me happier than organization. Maybe that's just the Taurus in me, but ah, I got all of these little cases from Amazon. So if any of you are interested, I will link these little like trays down below that will help you organize your makeup drawer okay so you all know my skin has been going through it thank goodness for fresh <laughs> beauty products um so i've been using clean makeup um you guys know i love beauty counter so i'm gonna use their tinted moisturizer as basically a makeup i I haven't really been using too many like different foundations um I'm really into uh, tinted moisturizer right now so let's go ahead and start with the base all right guys so let's chat you all know I just got back from Barbados crop over a lot of you asked if I'm Caribbean I'm not but I do have a ton of Car Caribbean friends and I've dated my fair share of Caribbean men um, do not recommend <laughs> they're a passionate bunch the men but uh y'all know how I go um, so yeah, that's kind of how I got into like my love of soca music, um, 
just from being around so many Caribbean people, um, namely Gloria. I love Gloria. She is incredible. If you are not following her here on YouTube, definitely head over and check out her channel. It's Life with Glory B. Um, she is a 50 plus fashion woman killing it at life. Um, a lot of you always ask like if it's too late to be a content creator and there are no rules when it comes to this industry. You can do anything you want. There are no limitations. There is an audience for everyone. In fact, I believe the 50 plus women on this platform, namely YouTube, it's needed. There's so many women, especially like in their 60s and 70s who follow me and I think that they would love Gloria's content. Um, and just anyone in their own age groups content, of course, please keep following me. Like, I love the aunties. Thank you guys. Y'all be round for me. But also, yeah, like, you can do this at any age. It really, there are no limitations. And of course, the market is not saturated. I know people keep saying the market is saturated. But if it was, I wouldn't be getting repeat business from the brands that I work with. I mean, of course, like, my work speaks for itself. But it just shows how little people are actually in the space that are doing good work if the brands, you know, don't try new people. So, yeah. Shout out to Gloria. Shout out to all my Bajans. I had an incredible time at Cropover. This was my second time um, going to Cropover. I played with Zulu International this time. The last time I played with Crave. Um, and then for Four Day or Juve, um, I, last time I was there, I did Caesar's Army. This time I did Mixed Nuts. And honestly, I do not recommend Mixed Nuts. Uh, we actually left. <laughs> we actually left them. Um, and then we joined, what was the other one? I can't even think of the name. Um, but we actually just left them and we joined Native. <laughs> because Native was popping. I'm sorry, we had to go. So yeah, if you're interested in like parties and what, what to do, what to see in Barbados or during crop over, I will create a blog post and I'll link it down below. It's probably already up. So as you can see, I just put on pretty much like one to two layers of the number seven Do Skin Beauty Counter. And really it looks like skin. It looks like I didn't do anything. I mean, it slightly covers my blemishes, but barely, barely. Y'all remember that? What was that from? I feel like it was like a meme on, on, not on TikTok, but somewhere, barely. I love it. So yeah, I had an incredible time in Barbados. There is a blog post down below with all of the deets, where to stay, where to go, where to eat, all the things. But I have also been asked a ton if I'm gonna do Trinidad or any of the other um, islands. Um, I would like to do Trinidad, but I feel like I got to build up my stamina uh, because I feel like Trinidad is the one and crop over is like, I mean, I love crop over, but I heard that Trinidad is the one and you need to be prepared and you need to be ready. And I barely made it through crop over y'all barely. Mm. Okay. So what I do next is concealer. So let's get that done. I'm just going to put a few dots here. Um, and then I'm gonna cover that with powder. Now this is gonna take a lot of powder because I'm really just building this up to withstand the humidity. Um, so let's get on the concealer and then we'll move on to the next step. So this is basically what I do with my concealer. By the way, I would like to preference this makeup tutorial with the fact that I don't really know how to do makeup. Um, I just know how to do my own makeup and it be looking all right. So maybe y'all know what I'm doing. Maybe I'm doing things wrong. Take everything I'm doing with a grain of salt, girl, because I am not a professional. Um, so you do your makeup how you like to do it. But this is what's been getting me through the humidity and all of these events and things and crop over and my makeup still looks bomb by the time I get home. So that's my concealer. You can use any concealer that you like. And then I usually take a little egg. I don't wet it or anything, but I just dab this in. You know, that just gives you that little, oh, I'm awake look. Yeah, so I am back in Miami. I've been pretty much resting ever since I got back from um, Barbados. I have a ton, I mean a ton of work. 
you guys i am going to milan and paris fashion week i just booked my flights i actually use my mouse to to book my flight so very happy i'll have extra money so that i can put that towards really nice accommodations um and spending money because y'all know i'm about to shop i mean that just woke me up and i love that it doesn't crease in my uh under eye lines so that's what i do and then i'm gonna take a little bit of white setting powder kind of like translucent powder and then i'm going to set this so I'll be right back again gonna take my same little egg dip it into some powder and then tap that in right over the concealer now honestly if I'm gonna be out all day and I mean all day like in the hot Miami Sun or in the hot Beijing Sun I just let this sit until I'm done with my eyebrows now this really is gonna give you like a kind of cakey almost matte airbrush type of look um, and it can come off a little harsh but it will soften up as you start to sweat <laughs> <laughs> and as that humidity starts to set in it'll look more natural but coming out the gate it's gonna look very a little bit harsh but I don't mind that as long as it lasts all day so I'm actually gonna let it bake or whatever that means um, while I do my eyebrows and this is the actual steps of me doing my makeup routine so I'm gonna go in with a brow pencil I usually use uh, the Sephora line um, brow pencil it's inexpensive it gets the job done um, it has a little spoolie on the end so what I like to do is go in brush my brows up like so and then I'm just going to use the other end this is the color granite to pencil in actually there's not much left on this one but I only do up strokes there's literally nothing on this. Thank goodness I have a backup. By the way, you guys, ah, I have gel nails. This is OPI, Coconuts Over OPI, my favorite nail polish. I didn't know they made it in the gel polish until I saw it in my nail salon. You guys know I go to Henna International uh, Nail and Spa on Collins here in Miami Beach. They are so thorough with their mani pedis and their mani pedis last forever. But because I was going to crop over, I wanted to try gel nails and now I'm addicted. I'm addicted, 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 addicted. I'm addicted, addicted. Yes, get y'all some coconuts over OPI. It's so natural and beautiful and just fresh looking. But this is all I do. I do upstrokes and just slightly fill my brows in. So you can already see the difference and I'm barely doing anything. I use a very light hand at the front because I don't want it to come off too harsh. I just do like bushy upstrokes. And then sometimes I'll go underneath and right where the brows start, I'll just create a little line. All right, so the brows are done. Remember, they're sisters, not twins. So if they don't come out perfectly, it's okay. Like. My face is not even symmetrical, so we have that too. Um, so now that my brows are filled in, I feel like this has been on long enough. So I'm just gonna pat it in. And as you can see, it doesn't even look like I have pores, which I like. So if you want that poreless look, definitely concealer, your powder on top, let that sit, and then pat it in because I mean, you can see my pores everywhere else, but here it's like, <laughs> where are your pores, sis? It's given poreless, which I like. Um, okay, this is usually the time where I go in and I refill in my moles. Um, I have one here and one here and one here. I just like them to show through because they're my little beauty marks, you know? So that's it, I just went over with the same pencil. Um, I'm gonna put my hair back just a little bit. So I am super excited about Fashion Month. 
Um, I'm definitely going to be super busy. Like, I can feel it. Um, as far as Milan and Paris, I don't know if I'll have a lot of show invites. It's been quite a few years since I've been to Milan Fashion Week. And I believe the last time I went, Instagram was still kind of new. Like, it had only been out for maybe three years. Maybe four. When I went to Milan Fashion Week and I had the best time. I remember going to the Jimmy Choo show. Um, I had such a great time. And then Paris. I've been to Paris quite a few times for Fashion um, Week. And I feel like the biggest show I ever went to was um, the Jean-Paul Gaultier Haute Couture show. It was the last one they had. They had it in like this, um, like a movie theater almost, like an amphitheater. It was so good. I also have gone to the Izzy Miyake show a few times. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure because I haven't been in so long whether I'll still get invites to like any of the big shows, but we're gonna try. I just wanna be there, so. Yeah, I'm looking forward to creating Fashion Month content. Of course, we're going to do New York. The only uh, fashion week we're not doing is London. And honestly, I don't know why. I just don't feel the pull to London like I do with... I feel like Milan is the most fun, crazy one. Paris is just... You can't miss it. Like, you just can't. And New York, like, you know, New York City. You gotta go. I don't know. I don't, nothing against my Londoners, but I don't know. I just don't think it's for me. I'm going to go back in with the same um, concealer and cleaning up my brows. So there we are. I have this really cool Artiste brush and I'm just going to clean it up. And you guys say you always love my brows and this is what I do. The brow pen pencil from Sephora. Um, I feel like it's like $14 or maybe $12. Or 22, girl. Don't get me to lying. But I'll link it down below. And also, I like that I can take the concealer and pull it down a little bit into my eyelid so that it holds my eyeshadow better. Now, after that, I go back in with my makeup um, brush and I just clean it up a little because the concealer, sometimes it don't be blending into your makeup. <laughs> And I just want to make sure it doesn't look too nuts. And yeah, I do like a sharp brow, but I don't like it to look too sharp. So even after I go in and clean up the brows, I usually go back in with my brow pencil and, and add upstrokes um, that overlay the concealer. So that it looks like, you know, just little strands are still out in the wild and they don't look so polished um let's get into my eyes because i have been doing something a little different you guys know i've been doing my cat eye now i mess this cat eye up every single chance i get um and i'm getting a little bit better but the chances that i do this right on this video because it's a little bit of pressure slim to none that this is going to come out looking right but this is what i do so for my lids i'm going to go for like a smoky golden like orangey and deep brown look so i'm going to be using this urban decay born born to run palette i've had this palette for so long anywho it has so many beautiful colors and i'm going to be using the punk which is like brown y'all know i love a brown and then i'm going to mix that with a little ignite which is very kind of orangey golden -y. so these two so let's start with punk I'm just gonna put a little on my finger I mean I already have dark lids which kind of helps when I want to do this kind of look you guys see so you can see the slight difference that made and this is very kind of a matte it's very pretty I like it I'm gonna take just a little bit under not too much it looks like you got punched in the eye. So let's do the other eye. If I can find this palette, I will link it. I hope they still make it because it's such a good palette. Now, the Ignite. This one is a little sparkly. And I don't know if I want to get that all over my fingers. So I'm going to use this tiny little brush to get a little bit of that. What? Oops, I did the wrong one. 
Ooh, that's pretty. So I'm trying to get more into makeup, y'all. I've been watching like tutorials and such, but it's a big investment. Like makeup is expensive. Why y'all ain't tell me? So I tinkered with that a bit and this is what we got. And I like it. I love it. Okay, now this is the part that gets a little dicey and it's when I try to do a cat eye. Y'all, I'm still, I mean, I love how it looks. I can always do one, and the one comes out looking really nice, but we don't see. So this is what I use. I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pen and Granite. And I'm pretty sure this you're supposed to use this one for your brows. They do have another one, which I have that one as well, that's actual liquid liner. Um... And that one comes in the little purple one. And let me show you the difference in the tips. So this is the one I'm supposed to be using. And this is the one I normally use. <laughs> now I feel like I can just handle this one better. I feel like this one is just a little too long. I always end up just butchering it. So... What I like to do is I like to start where my eyelashes start, which is here, and then do a thin line on, um, right above my lashes, and then we just gonna figure out what's gonna happen when we get over here. I cannot do this in the viewfinder. All right, y'all, one done. So actually pulling my eye gives me a good kind of metric of where to draw it, but that's it right there I gotta do the other one honestly I'm afraid to admit that I've been off camera for a good 10 minutes just to get this cat eye going <laughs> but this one I love it Ooh. okay so now that that's done I'm gonna go in with a little eyeliner I think we were talking about fashion week. I'm actually happy to be going back to New York soon. I'm gonna be spending a considerable amount of time there since I will be flying from New York to Milan and then to Paris from there for fashion week and then back to Miami from there. <sighs> Love New York. So what I think I'm going to do for my hair for fashion week is I'm going to take my braids out at the end of the month and then I'm going to wear my natural hair for New York fashion week. And then there's a week between um, New York and Milan. So during that week, I'm going to get my braids back in. <laughs> and then I'm going to wear my braids for Milan and Paris. And it's just because I can't, I cannot see myself doing my hair every single day or every other day. I wish I had like a professional hairstylist going with me, but I think I'm going to be doing this on my own. I was trying to get an assistant to come with me or even my photographer here, Maria, but I don't think she's available. So I'm going to be winging it. This is Giorgio Armani eyeliner and it is my favorite. It's incredible. I love it. All right, so what I also like to do with the Giorgio Armani pencil is just go along the upper corner to kind of connect to where the liquid liner starts for the cat eye. And I feel like that just gives, I feel like Cleopatra. So basically the eyes are done, Giorgio Armani, so good. Um, we're gonna finish them off with some mascara actually let's seal my brows in with keys soul care this is alicia keys um makeup line and i love this little gloss it's not even really gloss but it just kind of locks your eyebrows into place so they don't melt off in the in the hot humidity so that's a trick definitely use some kind of set some kind of setting um like gel to lock in 
your brows or else they will melt off y'all know when it's real real hot and this is all about humidity fighting now for the eyelids what helps the makeup to stay on like the eyeshadow is the fact that I used that concealer and I pulled it down over my lids before I put on my shadow that of course gives you a nice clean base for your shadow and it also helps to hold the shadow on to your um, lids so let's get into mascara I have a few new mascaras that I've been using um, this is one of them this is the minted long live the lash mascara minted cosmetics is actually a black black owned but look at this spoolie it's giving luscious and I believe when I did my makeup for crop over this is the mascara that I used and it lasted all eight hours that I was on the road jumping with Zulu International y'all see that also if you happen to mess up your cat eye like just a whole bunch of mascara will help cover that up but it just gives you big luscious voluminous long spread out lashes which I I'm really into right now I always, I always go right in to like to the crevice try to get every single lash and I love this spoolie because it's so good at literally grabbing your lashes and coating them so you can see no mascara mascara one of my favorite mascaras I'll be sure to link this down below if any of you all are interested now speaking of New York, I really would love to buy a condo in New York. You all know I have an apartment in New York and I bought this townhouse here in Miami, but I would love to own something in New York. So I think I'm going to start that process of looking soon. My good friend Trisha, who was in the Barbados um, crop over vlog, she's actually a, a realtor in Harlem. She actually doesn't live too too far from me in Harlem. And um, she's looking for things for me. So we'll see. I also really would love a Spanish style house. <laughs> like a small Spanish style, maybe two, three bedroom house. Yeah. I mean, I love my house in Miami, but I seriously am over the stairs. I'm over them. I have to buy like three of everything. So I have it on every floor. So I don't have to go up and down and up and down. But my legs are getting such an incredible workout every single day. Because I always forget something. I need to start taking some ginseng. Because the older I get, the more forgetful I am. Just of like little things. I can remember everything. But the little things like, what floor did I leave this on? Like, is this on the second floor? Like, why did I even come up here? What am I up here for? Hmm, let me think. So we will see. We'll see. I have a lot of things I want to do and I just need to take it slow. Um, but I do have the bug to buy something else. Um, I feel like it's the easiest way to um, attain wealth um, and also create generational wealth for your family. So now for my lower lashes, because I feel like the bristles on that brush are too thick. I'm going to go in with Benefit Cosmetics, they're real because I love the spoolie on the end and how little it is. I can really get all of my tiny lashes. So I'm trying to remember, what do I do next? Oh, I contour. So let's contour my nose. We're going to do Fenty um, Espresso. And this is like a clay. I can only use this on my nose. If I use it anywhere else, it breaks me out. I don't know why. I cannot use this on my cheeks. It like clogs my, my pores. So I use that for that. And then I have been loving the Christian Dior. Um, Dior Forever Natural Bronze in seven. It just gives you a light glow like you've been on vacation. Um, so this is what it looks like. So I just go in with a little brush like this and I just etch out. 
And you see how that immediately just added warmth back to my face when it looks a little dead from the powder and the concealer, which I love that. And then I also go in around my hairline, a little here. It gives you like a little sun-kissed glow and just adds warmth back to your face. This also kind of helps if you have any kind of product for baby hairs <laughs> or you do your edges, you lay it with some kind of gel, this powder will stop it from seeping into your makeup. So now that I have that on, I'm gonna buffer it out with my favorite BMX 180 buffer brush. And I buff up. And then around the edges, I literally buff it into my hairline. And I got this brush from Walmart, it's incredible. Now that I'm all buffed out with that uh, Dior bronzer, I'm gonna go in with this e.l.f. Cosmetics flat brush and work this right up into my brow. I'm Don't worry, I'ma blend it. <laughs> I'ma blend it. Okay, here's the step that I feel like locks everything in. I'm gonna go in with the NARS Meza Light Reflecting Setting Powder in Loose, or Loose Setting Powder. I'm just gonna use this little brush again from e.l.f. And I'm only gonna blot this in the places where I know I'm gonna be shining. This side looks. You don't want too much. So here, T-zone. You see how that also just adds a little bit of beautiful color? I love this powder because it's very matte. It's light reflecting, so if you're sweating, it's gonna reflect the light. Um, <laughs> and it's just really nice. It's a nice setting powder. Um, again, using Meza. I'm just gonna give y'all some side profile. Period. Let's get into some blush. Y'all know I love a good blush. We're gonna do Makeup Forever in, what color is this? I don't even know. It doesn't say, you guys. But this color. <laughs> And then we're just gonna go right here above the contour. Not where my natural highlight is, but right below it. It just instantly wakes you up. Don't worry, I'm gonna blend it. If I can find this color, I'm gonna link it down below because it's so good. I find that like rosy pinks that are very like pigmented work better for my skin tone since I feel like I have a, a yellow undertone again using this buffer max for li literally everything and it's also matte which I love okay let's give ourselves a little glow and a lot of you were pointing this out when I did my Barbados um, like party makeup routine you said you really wanted to know what the glow was so it's the bobby brown highlight powder in bronze glow like look at that it's it's insane it's wow i'm using this cool little brush and i'm just literally gonna dab just a tiny bit where my highlight already is like i haven't put a highlight on but you can see it in a light you just trace it just a little bit, not too much, or you'd be out here kilowatting people. I put a tiny bit on a on my nose, just the tiniest bit. And then I'll also take a little bit and go right over my eye shadow. Now, my makeup is basically done, but I'm gonna lock it in again. <laughs> This time with Charlotte Tilbury um, Airbrush Flawless Finish in the color 4 Deep. And I literally just get it a little on my brush and I seal everything. So good. So that's pretty much it. Um, I, should I try a fun lip? I have like some new lipsticks in. 
this Givenchy. You know what? Let's go with the Givenchy. I feel like this would be really beautiful. So this is Givenchy Violet 42. And it looks like a natural pinky. Oh, it's beautiful. It's actually purple. I usually prefer a matte lip. Um, I rarely do liner or gloss. And I find that for a look that you want to last in humidity, a matte lip or a lip stain that dries down matte will last you longer than lipstick with a satin finish or gloss. If you wear gloss, you're going to be reapplying gloss all day, like every two hours, maybe even less if you're eating. But a good matte lipstick will last. with that orange oh so good and look at this case i just picked this up from sephora it's like velvet love that press again that is 42 velvet so i have one more step <laughs> and that is to lock everything even more in with the elf stay all night microfine setting mist and you guys know i love this sound a little ASMR for you. It's like when the girls have their, you know, iced coffees and stuff. Alright, so that is it for my Beat the Humidity <laughs> makeup look. There's a lot of layering going on. A lot of, like, powders that soak up, um oil and of course a setting spray techniques used to keep eyeshadow on include like pulling the concealer down really setting this the areas that are prone to sweat um using something matte if you want it to stay all day i highly recommend fenty stunna any of the fenty um lip stains they last all day um all of the makeup products are also linked down below but again do not forget the great makeup starts with great skin and if your skin is going through a girl and you want to help with the signs of aging caused by stressors of the world including stress from people stress from the environment stress from your diet um and you just want popping, beautiful, glowy, bouncy skin. Get into fresh and add the tea elixir serum to your skincare routine. Again, you can do this morning and night. So special shout out to Fresh Beauty for sponsoring today's video. Um, I hope you all enjoyed seeing my updated makeup routine and I think I need to do another like get ready with me. I feel like I didn't talk enough in this video about what's going on in my life, uh, changes, things that I want to do. But yeah, you all are going to see them. Um, and in case you're wondering, I am wearing this robe and matching silk dress from Skims. I'll link it down below. It comes in a few colors. I am wearing a small dress and a medium robe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to give your girl a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe. Um, click that notification bell so that you never miss a video. Thank you for spending your time with me. If you have any more questions about either my skincare routine or makeup that I'm loving, ask me down below in the comments. Y'all know I respond to all my comments. And if you would like more vlogs, more one-on-one -on -one time in my YouTube lives, consider joining my priority membership channel there's a join button down below somewhere all right guys i will see you all in my next one bye